<laughs> but we're going to end, man. I thought Freddie T was going to get to it, but yeah. he had a better question, actually, than, than this one. You know, we asked people their biggest pivot. It's something that Freddie T started doing when this show started. And for you, this one hits close to home for all of us because you went through a lot of the things we have. Mm. You know, you got an opportunity to live a dream. That dream goes away eventually, and you have to find a new one. What would be for you, your biggest pivot in life, the thing that you remember the most or the thing that impacted you in a way that it's always shaped you going forward? Mm, that's a good question, man. I think, uh, you know, what I'm doing right now with social media and working with brands and, and things like that, like, that's a, that's a huge pivot. But I'm, like, relishing in my role as a dad, you know, with my dad being locked up when I was four, like I never got a chance to see him at my games, mm. you know, high school or college. He finally came to a game in Detroit in like 2010 or something like that. But other than that, like he was never there. Like when I made like all my major decisions, like me going to Penn State, like me doing this, me getting drafted, like he wasn't there for any of that. So I want to be there like every step of the way for my kids, man. Like my son made a four from one goal line stop, dog. And I'm, th this is school right here, Stevenson football, man. I'm volunteer coach on the team. I'm out there coaching up the D line. You know what I'm saying? Showing them different moves, how to work the double team, like all that stuff. So seeing him make a four from one goal line stop, tackle the guy in the backfield, slam him down, ball come out. Dog, I'm on, I can't wait till he run off the side. I'm on the sideline, like, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Dog, I went and clotheslined this guy. What is this right here? Rotator cuff? That mug, it hurt right now, dog. Like, I went, I said, ah, yeah, dog, ah. Next thing you know, I don't even, like, feel him no more. Like, he's, like, on the sideline sitting down. I'm just, I find myself there, like, yeah. They're like, you got to get off the field, coach. Like, they about to run a play. Dog, I was so geeked, dog. But my role as a parent, dog, I be at the cross country meets with uh, my girls. My girls be running, they do all type of stuff. If you living in our house, you gotta do an activity. They doing water polo, then they doing basketball and uh, cross country. And I be at all of them things. Like, and my girl, she's like, <sighs> My 12-year-old, man, they pass her the ball. She act like it's hot potato. Like, like you right up under the rim. They pass her. She's like, uh. <laughs> like, what are you right there? Like, shoot the ball. I be on the sideline. Like, Amaya, let's go. Come on. I didn't travel here for that. I got to go. <laughs> like, so I be at the games, like, just going in, man. But Pivot, being a dad, bro, it's like, it's the best job in the world, man. So rewarding, man. So... I just always try to be there for the kids, like, no matter what it is. Like, one of my daughters is in a band. Like, I go to the recitals and all that stuff, man. So just being present.